My name is Rupi C. Tut. I'm a visual artist and a calligrapher. For the last year, I've been the artist in residence at the Sikh Foundation Palo Alto. And I've researched and cataloged many pieces of Sikh art from the Cavani collection, including textiles, coins, stamps, uh, miniature paintings, oil paintings. One was the miniature albums that I also wrote articles about. They portrayed, you know, not only the rulers of the time, so it started with Ranjit Singh's portrait, all the way to the soldiers, um, to weavers, to entertainers that were around in, in Punjab at, during the 19th century. Uh, for example, some paintings had, uh, you know, the pinjin being represented. The pinjin was a machine used to clean and uh, to fluff up cotton. And I think I had never seen that, um, even in Punjab while I was growing up there. But to be able to see that in a painting and then to figure out what is it and how does it work and then to be able to describe it accurately. So if someone comes back and looks at my descriptions, they know exactly what's going on. I think the Sikh Foundation and the fact that it's existed for the last 50 years is uh, a statement in itself. Primarily, it supports the exhibition of important Sikh art around the world. And there's an organization that cares so much about um, art that's happening in the community uh, and art that's being created by Sikh artists now and also before. All this artwork has been very inspiring and I think it has brought me greater appreciation for Sikh heritage, that I can bring the beauty of my heritage out and expose it to the world through my work is very important. Um, and I think as I move forward and do that, I want to explore themes that are a very strong component of that heritage, be, be it, you know, at the actual Gurbani and doing calligraphy with Gurbani, um, or the themes of displacement and movement and identity, for example, partition, which was a huge event in the Sikh community to definitely know the history. So if you understand the history and if you know what happened when, it would give you so much better context when before you even look at an object and you would appreciate it much more.